All right, what do we have here? A trade I've been thinking of during class when I was supposed to be doing schoolwork. So, basically, the trade is going to be Paul George, Patrick Beverly, Lou Will for Devin Booker and Ricky Rubio. Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, you could be thinking multiple things right now. Like, why would the Clippers give up Pat Beverly and Lou Will? Or why would the Suns give up Devin Booker for Paul George who just played terrible in the playoffs? Um, well, the thing is, um, the Suns, yeah, they went 8 and on in the bowl. But before that, it hasn't been working. Now, I do want to preface this by saying that this trade, I think, would only happen if Devin Booker requests the trade. Um, if he doesn't, I don't think they'll ever trade Devin Booker, to be honest with you. Um, he would have to show intent of leaving or ask to be traded. Um, but the Clippers would definitely do this trade. And they would do this trade because uh, they, they need to get rid of Paul George. He's had problems with multiple players on the team and just has not been playing good up to his standard that he should be playing at if they want to win the title. Um, Devin Booker has been playing great his whole career, um, especially in the bubble. Like, that was just insane. Um, so, Devin Booker, let's talk about the, uh, let's talk about the Suns side of this first, actually. So, the Suns could trade for PG, um, for more work or work around. They could trade PG for more, so... They could trade PG, Lou Will, Pat Bev. They could easily go younger with that if that's what they want to do. If they want to rebuild, maybe around DeAndre Ayton, sure. Maybe Kelly Oubre, sure. Or maybe some picks. They could have, Picks could be included in this trade, too, just to make it work uh, for the Suns to actually want this trade. Um, Pat Bev is still good at defense, and Lou Will is still a good player. And PG is still good. Um, even though he played bad, I think he'll be playing better next season. Their lineup would be something like Patrick Bev at the point guard, Lou Will at shooting guard, um, Paul George at small forward, Oubre at power forward, and Aiden at the center. If you ask me, that's a very strong lineup for many years to come. Um, that's a very good team. They could trade the new three people to go younger if they want, like I said. I mean, yeah, they did go 8-0 in, in the bubble, so they could keep the team uh, going the way it is if they want to. Um, but if they don't have much success this season, I think Devin Booker should ask for a trade because he, he deserves a good team by now. I mean, he's been grinding there for years. Um, and this trade would definitely only happen if Devin Booker requested the trade and wanted it to happen. Um, and then we move on. Then we move on to the Clippers side of this. It wasn't working with PG to begin with. Um, I don't think him and Kawhi are going to work together, especially with what we just saw in the playoffs. Um, their lineup, their lineup, if this trade went through, would be Ricky Rubio, Devin Booker, Kawhi Leonard. Um, a power forward, they'd have to find, um, but they could easily do that. And then Zubac. Um, if they trade a couple other players on their team, um, they could free up some cash space to sign Montrez Harrell. After that, they won't have much space, but they could just um, sign vets for cheap like the Lakers did, and it, it's working good for the Lakers, as we see. Um, or they could go out and sign someone like Trevor Ariza and add him to that lineup if they can't keep Harrell. Um, yeah, it just wasn't working with PG with how he played in the bubble, and Devin Booker deserves a shot. The one thing that the Clippers were missing was point guard work, um, a good point guard. Devin Booker and especially Ricky Rubio could do that. Uh, Rubio played good this season. Not many people looked at that. So you could have Devin Booker and Ricky Rubio doing that. Um, and that's something that the Clippers were missing. Um, and that's pretty much. So those are the two sides, I think. Now, the Suns, they did go 8-0 in the bubble. But with how this team is now, I'm not expecting too much to come from them this season. Um... So I think that's why this trade could happen. Devin Booker could be unhappy. We already know the Clippers are unhappy with Paul George with how he played and his confrontation with teammates in the bubble. Um, so that's what I think about this. Um, how do I think the Suns would be after this trade? Um, I think they'd be a better team, to be honest. I think the Clippers would be a better team, to be honest. Um, the Suns would have a better starting lineup with Pat Bev, Lou Will, Paul George, Oubre, and Aiden. That's like solid throughout all five positions. 
Um, and the Clippers would be better because it just obviously was not working with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, so you have to try something new. And I think Devin Booker um, would work good with Kawhi Leonard, and I think Ricky Rubio would fit in there good.